an intriguing cocktail of two American obsessions, fame and faith. Andrew Keegan, who you may remember as a heartthrob from such TV classics of the 1990s as Party of Five and Seventh Heaven, is now at the center of a new spiritual community. This is a role that has raised a few eyebrows, and it is something we had to see for ourselves. We're in the heart of L.A. at a New Age temple where two of this town's primary preoccupations, spirituality and celebrity, are converging. I'm Andrew. We love you, Andrew. Andrew is Andrew Keegan, the 90s heartthrob who played Jessica Biel's boyfriend on Seventh Heaven. I just really like hanging out with her. And the adorable bad boy in 10 Things I Hate About You. Which one do you like better? He also graced the cover of many a magazine like Teen and Bop. I'm Nadine. We love you, Nadine. Thank you, Olivia. Back. I'm here to activate a celebration, family, and community. And so, so it is. is. I'm here to activate love and higher consciousness. Ah, so it is. And I'm here to activate joy. And so, so it is. is. Now he is the face and chief funder of a new spiritual community called so Full Circle. Today is actually our one year anniversary. At a time when celebrity and faith can sometimes be a combustible mix, think Tom Cruise, some in the media are saying Keegan has started a quote, new religion. So we decided to check it out for ourselves. Uh, my name is Dan and I love, love, love you, Dan. <laughs> I love you right back. And I'm here to see what, what you guys are up to. We witnessed freewheeling sing-alongs and even a Native American medicine man. My name is Rainbow Thunderheart. I'm here to resurrect the principles of peace worldwide for peace, love, and harmony. We also learned that Keegan is a hugger, even if he's never met you before. Very well. This congregation, if that's the right word for it, is filled with lots of stylish young people, many of them fans of Keegan's from way back. Did you guys watch Seventh Heaven? Yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> what do you believe here? We have a creed. We do believe that everything is an expression of the creator and that we coming together create our own uh, destiny, our own path. It's a little hard to pin down. Full circle. Everything comes together. They believe in the authentic story that is life. How did Andrew Keegan, of all people, end up in the spirituality game? There was a time when he could barely go out in public without being swarmed by tween girls. So uh, what are we talking about? You'd be walking down the street and people would just lose their mind. It's, it was malls, malls and, and any gathering place where you had a, maybe you call it the mob mentality. These days, Keegan seems a bit sheepish about his time in the limelight. It's like if your yearbook was still floating around the internet, maybe it is, but that's sometimes what it feels like when I see those pictures. Just walk me through uh, what was on your mind in this shot. Yeah, I got a lot of grief for that one. I think there was a whole rumor about a drug addiction based on that photo, but I mean, this was an artistic, uh, you know, an artistic photo, of course. I, I, um, it, it looks pretty. It looks pretty silly now. <laughs> All right, talk to me about what's happening here. Oh wow, I can't decide between basketball or football. It was a very pivotal moment in my sports career. Was this comfortable? Not at all, but the bicep looked really good. After Seventh Heaven ended, his acting career slowed down dramatically. At around the same time, he broke up with his girlfriend, Leanne Rimes, and moved to Venice Beach. He invested in real estate, dabbled in new age spirituality, and did a lot of surfing. Go surfing? Surfing has a meditative quality to it, because when you're in the ocean, you're really dancing with Mother Earth. He still does a little acting and still gets recognized. Look at this guy. You probably saw Seventh Heaven or Party Five. Or oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. The 10 Things I Hate About You. Ah, uh, yes, okay. But with age, it is spirituality that has become his central interest. Last year, he and some friends decided to start Full Circle. They have an art gallery here. So this is like the artistic version of an acid trip. Uh, quite literally, yes. <laughs> And they traffic in energy healing, chakras, crystals, pretty much every California cliche you could ever dream up, including this milky drink that supposedly helps you fulfill your intention. Have you ever done an intention before? Uh, I've never done an intention. Take it, close your eyes, and then just breathe for three or five seconds. Just... 
Cool. All right. I'll let you know if it works. Thank you, Mama Earth, for birthing us. Think whatever you want about this place. See, this is about telling a truth. But the more time you spend with Keegan, it's hard not to conclude that he is genuinely sincere. If you do things from a place of love, you will feel good, and, it, and it's an energy exchange. It's being one with the environment, one with each other. It's also worth noting that this work is neither glamorous nor lucrative. So you poured your whole savings into this thing? And then some. So loans? Some, donations. You are taking a risk then? Absolutely. But with risk comes reward. Welcome to Monday, Monday meeting. In fact, full circle leadership meetings often center around the issue of money, more specifically, the lack thereof. I think as everybody knows, we've squeaked by this month. A lot of pressure on the organization to stay, to keep solvent. Keegan thinks of himself as a kind of spiritual entrepreneur. Talked about Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or one of those fundraising platforms. And full circle as a sort of startup. Two thirds of young Americans don't associate with traditional religion, so if there's an interest in what it would be to have a space that represents, I guess religion's the right word for that, or, or a community center, or a spiritual community center. In your ideal future, there's a full circle in every city, maybe several. Yeah. And he wants to make clear that he is not the boss here. So are you not the guru of this place? I, there is none. We are a leaderful movement. So Full Circle is not Andrew Keegan's personal church? Not at all. Okay, so since I'm running the interview, we're definitely not going to ohm at the beginning. This is a point <laughs> his compatriots were eager to amplify when we sat them down. Is having Andrew involved a blessing or a curse? Is it good that Andrew was is was a celebrity is a celebrity <laughs> i think andrew is a gift so if andrew has been a catalyst for bringing that kind of attention to our movement what an incredible blessing but is he the guru or the boss he's not the guru not <laughs> i just i just want you guys to know that you're now involved in a this spiritual organization with this guy uh, does that change your mind at all <laughs> I, I never want to see these again <laughs> As this Sunday service wound down, the pride that Keegan takes in this place was abundantly obvious. Thank you all very much for being here. This is, this is awesome, thank you. To see us all raise our vibration together is, is really what it's about. Are you on with us? Well, I own with, man, you rolling on this? Fine, I will own with you. Uh,